Hi and welcome back to my channel. I know many of us are stuck at home right now, unfortunately, with everything going on. But who says we can't sit at home and play with makeup, maybe even have a cute little at home date night. So this is for anybody who is just bored and wants to do their makeup and feel good even though you're at home. A lot of times we make jokes like, you know, this is a full glam if you wanna go shopping to the grocery store, but literally that's what we've come to. It's just a get ready with me. So there's not gonna be a whole lot of me talking directly to the camera. It's gonna be more of a voiceover, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay safe and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first thing I'm doing is cleaning up my eyebrows. My eyebrows are kind of on a struggle bus right now. I definitely need to get them, you know, cleaned up and stuff, but we can't really do that right now. So we got to improvise and, and do it at home. I'm using a little razor, just really easy, just going around and cleaning up any stray hairs. I am priming my face, priming slash moisturizing with my Bobbi Brown face base, which is really good for moisturizing. It does help to give you a nice, smooth and healthy, fresh, hydrated base. Right now, like I'm sure many of us out there, my brows are looking a little bit more on the rough side, but on days like this where my brows are a little bit more on the rough side and they need a little bit of TLC, a little bit of cleaning up, I like to do them before I do my foundation. That way I can take my time and I can be a little more messy with it and really fill them in and go in and conceal them, sharpen them up without messing up my foundation. So that's what I like to do. I'm using my hourglass eyebrow pencil, which I haven't used in a while, but I do really like it. And then for cleaning them up, I used my Too Faced concealer because it's nice and full coverage and it will cover up any little sparse hairs that are kind of just lingering around. And even then, once I fill them in, I'll sometimes go in with tweezers or my scissors to kind of clean up any other stray hairs because once they're filled in, you can really see what hairs are and aren't supposed to be there. On this day, I was on a full coverage kick. I felt like going full glam with my foundation, so I used my Huda Beauty one, but first I turned off this light because it was kind of giving weird lighting. But yes, I went in with that foundation in the shade Tres Leches, and this shade's pretty good for my skin tone. It's nice and full coverage. It isn't super matte, but going over top with the powder really kind of locks it in. This is honestly, I want to say it's one of the most full coverage foundations that I own a little bit goes a long way with this one, which is nice because you don't have to use as much. It kind of gives your skin a little bit of room to breathe, just a little bit. I actually decided to put something on my eyes today, but we are of course going to keep it minimal and simple. It wouldn't be me if we didn't. So I took one of my Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palettes. This is the one in the number seven. And I used the middle brownish shade to add a little bit of color to my eyelids. You can use this or you can use a bronzer if you want as well. But this one was a really nice neutral tone, which I liked. And then I took more of the olive brown, olive brown, olive green color in there and used that to add some definition to the outer corner of my eyes. Sticking to full coverage, I did the same with my concealer. I went ahead and used the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo Concealer, which if you've tried this one, you already know it's very matte and full coverage. This is not a concealer that you wanna let sit on your face for a while before blending because it will not move once it starts to set. So you wanna make sure to blend it right away. It's gonna give you amazing coverage regardless, but just a little tip. I'm taking those little extra steps today because you know we're having a we're having a little at home date night. We want to make sure our makeup's looking snatched. So I am going in with a cream bronzer. And this is well, it's a foundation and a deeper shade from Juvia's Place. It just adds a little bit of color and gives me a nice bronzy look to my skin. Okay, look, I normally don't go in and contour my nose, but I, I felt like doing that. I felt like really going all out 
for, I mean, for some people this might not be all out, but I felt like doing a little bit more glam for our at home date night just because I wanted it to feel like a normal date night, but here at home. So I did a full glam, did my hair, everything, and I highly suggest that you guys do too. Order some takeout, you know, serve yourself some wine, put on some music, get in the mood, do all those things. It kind of gives us a sense of normal, especially at a time like this. And it gives us a nice excuse to get nice and glam, okay? But um, for powder, I used that. The one I used was from the drugstore. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And then I'm using the Makeup Forever Bronzer as well for my under eyes, but I'm using that on my face just to kind of set that cream product that I put beforehand. Not doing too much, but just, you know, so it doesn't move around. This blush is from ColourPop. I, somebody told me that this is a cream blush. I don't know, but it works for me even on top of powder. It gives me a nice rosy pink tone, which I really like. And it's not too much. It kind of looks a little more skin-like and rosy. And we gotta chisel the cheeks. We are, we are chiseling the cheeks for tonight. Again, another step I don't do on an everyday basis, but we are trying to look, you know, we're trying to look cute. And my mascara, I used the Marc Jacobs Blacker Mascara. I really like this one. I do need to get a new one because it's kind of drying out a little bit, but it works really well to give you volume and to make your lashes look a little bit darker. Now that our base is pretty much done, you can wipe off any leftover powder that you have, make sure everything is in check, nice and even. You don't need to add anything. You could add some highlight if you want to. I didn't, because I wanted to keep it matte. Usually for night looks, I don't do highlight, but yeah. Even if we're gonna be staying at home, we need to make sure our makeup is nice and locked in, okay? If we're gonna be locked in, we gotta make sure our makeup is too. So we're using our Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to just lock it all in place, make sure it doesn't budge. Who knows, your night might get a little more feisty and intense than you think it might. So just to be on the safe side, make sure to put that. And then liquid lipstick, of course, you wanna make sure it's matte so it doesn't budge, move when you're eating, drinking, whatever else you're doing on your date night, just make sure you're using a matte liquid lipstick i felt like wearing more of a light and flirty top but if you want to go with the date night theme you can wear like a little black dress you know kind of dress it up a little bit but i hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys are staying safe thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for some bloopers quarantine get ready with me <laughs> Girl, I swear that I hate it, we did it